All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Spellsword Cards Dungeon Top. I'm I'm frustrated with how poorly last week went, um, so I am going to attempt this second Hand of Karim deck again. I mean, I would like to have done it with the Mage just to see how different that is, but we don't have the gold. So maybe if we end up with one of those um, caravans, we will uh, um, try and sell stuff off just to try and get that money, so we can drop back to here and buy that. And See the difference. Um, so the mage's difficult class relies on spells, more on spells than on minions. It's offered less minions in drops and has less health than other classes. But must have some advantage to go with it, surely. Oh well. Unlock cards? Ah. Uh... That's the other thing you spend gold on. Okay, let's go charge this happy chappy in the corner. Talk to bows, hissing moors. Is it bowmen? Um, right, what have we got? We got. Range 2, minions destroy this card, count as sacrifice, good. Got the thing that spawns the one of itself, and we got some range damage, I'll keep all of them. So we'll play you down first, and play you down next, and slap you about a little bit with this. And off we go, just gonna hide myself in the corner. Okay, he's ranged, and like long ranged. Hello Derek. Derek wants to see. Um, right. Let's... Let's put him down there. I don't really like this thing. And we're going to put the priest down there next to it to sacrifice it. That gets rid of his block for next turn. Sorry, game sounds were uh, muted. Well done, chat. Well, this is going poorly. Okay. Should be able to kill that. What have we got? When sacrifice gain one power. That sacrifice the random adjacent one. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put hang on, are they ranged? If we put the block on him, it should protect our hero. And if we drop that next to there, we sacrifice this one to summon another one of those. Do I want to try and lure the... I mean, let's see what happens. No, didn't go for it. <clears throat> Fair enough. Oh, no, he has gone for it. Okay. Alrighty. You. Kill that. Deal some damage to him. If we do a bit of shuffling... Cross and finish off. Hey, Scumby. Right, let's have a look at the spell. Ooh, hook them. Move another unit into a square adjacent to your hero. No squares are available. Stun that unit instead. Could be kind of handy. 
Um, I've not seen that before either. A crack scorpion. When summoned, raise one. But he's a 4-2. Oh, I've gone then. Uh, Luna says no betting on this game. Uh, no, Luna, because I need to set up what the bets would be. Um, I mean, it's possible. Minion dies, not back. I don't really like that. Lock's not that useful this early. I just clicked keyboard, didn't I? Genius. Secret ranged? No. Put block on him for now. Right, what happens with these eggs? After two turns, destroy this minion and summon a lizard warrior. Okay. Right, let's maneuver you across. Push you up and kill it. Drop you in there. Kill off. That one. And drop the ranged character in next to my hero. Oh, it knocks me back as well. Okay. I really don't like that exploding frog thing. All right. Move you. Attack. Move you. Attack. Attack. Then sacrifice. Hide in the corner. Drop that. See, I could net it, but then it will get an attack on me because I don't have enough damage to kill it this turn. Whereas now we definitely do. Okay, loot. Let's just grab some minions. Oh, really? Fine. Healing after each battle, 100%. Okay, a tired mage resting on a crate waves you over past a pile of burnt corpses. I'm too old for this here. I'll give you something to help you on. What do you need? A blessing of knowledge or just stronger arms at your side? So you gain some XP or gain a treasure chest. Let's gain XP. It's a full level. Rush towards that extra mana. redraw that one. Oh, these stupid eggs that turns into lizards. Um, okay, ranged guy and initiate. Move towards this one so I can hit it next turn, hopefully. Drop the weird frog creature. He's quick. Alright, you should be able to range that one down. You attack, then move, and you come in, finish it off. We can kill this one. We can kill this one. And sacrifice that annoying thing. 
and box this guy in. Although he can leap, I think, so we're not really going to box him in. Yeah. Okay. Did I hit from you? Did I hit from you? Did I hit from you? If I put that there... Come to there. Scorpion in the corner. Then drag you in. We get hit. 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 Not quite enough to kill it, but maybe next turn. I don't. Yeah, no one else can attack. Uh, except he surrounds himself. Of course he does. Oh, not sufficiently enough. Is this one burning soul. Exhaust a random minion in your hand, apply burn. I don't really like that spell at all. Um, do we want to go back to the blacksmith? Let's go back to the blacksmith a minute. He upgrade a card? Yeah, he upgrades one. So what does that look like? Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. Six damage. And a reasonable amount of health. I'll take that. Probably never come up in a fight again now. You watch. Okay, lightning singes your hair as it arcs down the corridor in the room ahead. A hooded lizardling weaves arcane symbols through the air. Okay, we've got our second tier king priest. So the predator the thing attacked twice a defender has less power than you. Not massively helpful because it has the same power as us. So what we'll do instead, sacrifice that one. I wanted that in one of the other two locations, never mind. Yeah, that net spell. So Tristan in Chester said the, uh, the net seems like a great way to drag the enemy boss into a death trap. If I can get a little ring of high hitting heroes and then pull him into it. That was, yeah, my thoughts as well. Right. Ranged. Should attack twice. Good. Not quite enough to actually, you know, kill anything, but Let's drop you there for now. What is this? Deal three damage to an adjacent enemy. Oh! Okay. That was unusual. You're going to go stand at the back there. <laughs> Did not quite figure out that it was going to go to every adjacent thing in the... Oh, hello. Don't recognize you. Worm food spell bait. I mean, that's just a combination of words that imply he's horribly going to die. Okay, gain one power when a card is raised. We do have a thing that raises cards. 
And this one, I like these. So these have plus one power for every other friendly black steel minion on the board. If you could get a reliable source of them. Take those. Um, temple. Let's remove cards. Goodbye, Froggy. We'll go the normal path because our health is not great. Straight into a goblin chief. Okay. Keep all of that. Do some swift damage. We'll back steal out. Yeah. I'll get this out because these are low and it'll attack twice, which may get around that block. Let's see, does this get around this block? Yes. So okay, they they're useful in this situation. Which one are you? You the sacrifice one. Here you are. So he's got Predator as well. Nice. I don't really want it dying. So we'll just retreat it back there for a minute. Offer up the uh, Craghound as a potential victim instead, but it will probably go for this one. Oh dear. Dagger throw. Range two. Okay, we're safe. No, he did go for the crack hound. Very nice. Alright, put you back in range. Now. I'm not going to make use of the net. We're just going to ditch that. Okay, play you down, because this one gain one power whenever a card is raised, which is exactly what our little scorpion does. And if we sacrifice him, he comes back. Probably should have done that the other way around. Fine. turn we should be fine back to this rate there's not going to be much left on the board for him finish him so yeah as Tristan said those wolves might be better once you upgrade them but there's there's better cards to upgrade I remember this being quite good. All right, when a minion is sacrificed, gain a charge of restless spirits. When this minion is sacrificed, draw cards equal to the charges of restless spirits. So you basically sit it in the corner and then get rid of it eventually. But you need that. Was it? Oh yeah, it was this one. When summoned, sacrifice a random adjacent friendly card minion and draw one card. No, it wasn't this one. There was another one, which you could sacrifice things that were stood next to it whenever it felt like it, that paired perfectly with it. Maybe we'll come across it later. Just check it wasn't there. Goblin war leader or goblin psycho?
what we got? So this draws my next spell. It sacrifices a random adjacent card to draw a card. Oh, I think we can see where that's getting used. Get rid of that one though. Okay. Play down you. Play down you. Play down you to sacrifice that one. Absolutely perfect. Um, then drop you to get rid of that one. Okay, how far can you move? Can't get hit. Oh no, the bone pile. Oh well. Let's... What do we want to do here? I want to protect that. So we'll chuck this one on that end. This one on this end. Oh, that was a mistake. Two, six, done. I like our little scorpion. I mean, it's just a massive damage monster, so what's not to like? Haunted Cowermites. When this minion is destroyed, deal two damage to adjacent units. If I can get it in a good position? If not, Lesser Karim Drake, Devour. Gain the power of anything this unit destroys. Oh, you're coming. I'm less convinced by you. Before damage to it. Okay, we'll take the upgraded version. And the mana. Don't give it to me as a start card. <sighs> okay. Let's put down the ranged guy. Sacrifice him immediately. Put down this one to sacrifice here. Well, that wasn't that helpful, but... Which then lets us put the trap card next to the target. Which he very conveniently triggers for me. We're now going to Brave Brave Silver Robin. Oh, they blow up. Didn't notice that. Okay. Yeah, deal two damage to adjacent units. Okay. Protect the leader. Protect the leader. we can win this. Three. You're ranged, aren't you? Yes. Other way. In. Attack. Cross. Attack. Ah, oh, weapon. Absolutely perfect. I mean, it would be nice if it had range three, but otherwise, that is exactly what I want. Um... Hello, gain two power when a card is raised. Sure, why not?
I remember this guy being nasty. What was it? It was... They have haste. And then he... That was it. At the end of this annual minions game, plus one, plus one. Yeah, this, this, this guy was not fun. Okay, we got the dragon. We got the bomb. We don't need the block. Move up. Mm, put you there. Put you there. Hide you in the corner. Deploy the bomb. Hide the dragon. Two power and a card is raised. You go you sit in the corner and hide. Drop you just there. Well then poke you for one, which then lets you eat it. Gain its power. Nom 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 nom. Now what did this thing do? To the end of your next turn, your minions gain dash. Well, that's unfortunate for you. That you have none. Start sending the dragon in. Okay. He only does one damage, so if I can box him in, he shouldn't be able to summon. Yes. Right, it's all over for you. Double attack. Double attack. Dragon munches your face. Let's see if we can get a better spell. Bolster wounded. Friendly minions gain two power. Permanently. Not just for the turn. <laughs> okay. I've already got one of those. I don't think we want another one, really. They are good blockers. Come on then. If it doesn't work out, I can get rid of it later. Right. Don't want the net. Don't really want the king priest. Do I want the spell? No. Let's get rid of the spell as well. Okay, you, you, deploy the bomb. Poke him a bit. So he got range two, so we're fine. He can't hit my hero. Oh no, it's this guy. What were all these traps? I don't remember. Same row and column. Not good. Not good at all.
phone pile. Oh, stop him moving. Which should mean he has to hit. That's oh no, he can kill that one. So let's get the hero move. Bing. Hey, Lolster. Yeah. <laughs> Kill him quick. Uh, he's slightly worth two. I haven't seen either of these before. Shade gains plus one plus one when a card is exhausted. Have we do it do we exhaust? We've got a few exhausts. Aaron Void Caller, raised cards are instead added to your hand. Well we see how that like both of those work nicely. Sure, why not? Uh, Lost Stars, do I still play Mountain Blade? No, I haven't played Mountain Blade in five years. I'll probably play Bannerlord when it eventually comes out. But... Uh, what do we got here? Well, we'll keep that because that's loot. We'll keep that in case we ever want to go melee. By three power to unit to con Nice, yes. Four damage javelin spell and yeah we'll take all of them okay a priest of the god king of karim just as to you from a side passage a gift from the king after all we're in this together are we not gain three karim minions another lovely, lovely little scorpion one of these eh. and king's legate summoned so it's just a 3 6 version of the. Could have been worse. Find a glass pile, half full of red liquid near an old campfire. We will leave it for now because we don't need it. Shopkeeper. Purchase cards. What have we got in here? Put a copy of a friendly minion on the top of your deck. Um, what else have we got? That one's that one's sounding likely. Blade. No, this one. Hundred percent. This one. Okay, you come across a shell-shocked adventurer staring from a corner in the room. He scrambles to, up to you, begging, Can you spare a powerful card? I need to escape. I'll trade you this healing potion. Oh, there's a two-star card to trade for a healing potion. Do I want to get rid of any of these? I don't think we need quite as many of these as we've got. What game do I like better, Mountain Blade or Shogun 2? They're completely different styles of game. I'm not even sure I would compare them. <laughs> Although base Shogun 2 wasn't my favourite, I much preferred Fall of the Samurai. But Napoleon's still my favourite overall for Total War. Alright, Noga leans against the far wall, its armoured shoulder pushed into a set of iron double doors. As you approach it, grunts and swings its head towards you, raising its club. Its eyes never stray far from the door, and as much as the ogre wants to keep you out, it seems far more focused on keeping something else in. He has 50 health.
Film on that one. Film on that one. Yeah, we'll play the treasure to draw a card. Well, cool. You can hide in the corner. Put the range guy down. Put you down. And put the bomb in place. Okay, well, the minions escaped shade. Phase. After unit attacks, it swaps place with defender. Oh dear. See, now that's not so bad. Because this has penetrate. Drop you in the corner. Attack first. Just... <sighs> what do I want to do here? Ugh. Draw a card. Well, that's just getting excessive. Get the dragon down. And then maybe leave these two in my hand to get the mana back up for next turn. He has cleaved. I did not notice that. Well, that's a problem. Now let's me retreat a little bit. Um Don't have any wounded minions. Okay, that massively benefits my dragon. You can hit there. Move out of the way. Let's put that there. It'll act as a blocker. He only does three damage. Just discard the net. Oh no. That's where that damage came from last time. Fine. Right, here comes the silly scorpions. Drop you there, and the two scorpions in behind. Make a beeline for the exit. Well, not the exit, you know, run away this way. Okay, again, this works out nicely for me. So you, go over them. You have a little snack. Um, I 
Now, if we put fringe to attack. Put a copy of a friendly minion on the top of your deck. I'll have another scorpion, please. Oh, ouch. Okay. All right, he's got block, so... Oh, I didn't need to move you closer. That was a mistake. Potion. And... What is this? You can no longer gain block. Gain Moth Strike 1 and Power 3. Draw a card. Apply three power to unit. And I'm going to play you just there. You next to it. Hide the dragon in the corner. Put the treasure book somewhere. Deal some damage. Should get him next turn. He's just set himself up for the loss. That was close. Never mind. We did it. All right. Loot, loot, loot. Oh, a bit limpy, dude. Down Shin. Let's have the artifact reveal. That's the leap boots, isn't it? Yes, we'll have to take them. I like that spell. I like those scorpions. Just a uh, waste of money. Waste of these things anyway. Alright, what is that? Attacks with any melee weapon. No. Dash. Gain 4 maximum HP applied immediately. Right, convert to treasure, yes. Convert. Hopefully we can buy that wizard soon. Okay, the creature of the room seems to be a fusion of many forms, dozens of worm things writhing together in one body. Speaks in harmony, babbling a language you do not understand, but is unmistakably hostile. Well, that's nightmare fuel. Okay, we'll get rid of both of those. Maybe him. In the hope I get something I actually want on the top of the... Yeah, there we go. So we'll leap one, drop the scorpion, have a scorpion on the top of the deck. And then drop the king priest. Right, destroyed enemy means are exhausted from your opponent's deck.
Yeah, all right, he hits. Okay. Attack. Wounded. Should have cast out myself first. Ow. Okay, no. I assumed it was going to boost my health there. It did not. Never mind. You attacked? No. Oh, uh, what are these little things? Last word. Adjacent enemy minions gain grub spawn. Grub spawn. Spawn a Marathi grub on the same square under the opponent's control. Um. Treat away and kill it at range? I'm actually going to sacrifice him. All right, let's see what this grub spawn is. I don't know what that does. Destroy the lowest power minion on the board and heal your hero. Oh. Great. See a plan here. Hoping that forces him to attack that one and blow up. Um, sure, we'll just sacrifice you. We need to just start focusing on the damage. We're desperately trying to pull this guy down. We should be able to do it now. Got him. Well, that was an annoying minion. Ah, this is a sacrifice one, isn't it? Target an adjacent friendly minion for sacrifice. On a psychic or an adventurer? I mean, this is a dead end. Let's go for this one. A pile of broken bones and rusted weapons and armor depict a long forgotten battle. One hand pulls its way out of the pile. Yes. Yes. Cool. Straight for damage. That's all good. right up in his face. This is abilities. Unit takes double damage from all sources and all your units gain cleave till the end of the turn. Oh dear.
Okay, we'll do uh, some damage to you and then... Wait, wait, wait. Drop you. Drop you. Put you down to get the servitor. Run the hell away. And I'm going to just discard this one for the mana back so I get a full hand next turn. Deploy the bomb. Has he got multi strike one spear? Yeah. not quite enough. Okay. Run away up there. Change weapon to sword. Suits me. Wounded, aren't you? Game over. Right, let's get this one, which is a uh, start thing with evasion two. I got time for one more battle, I think. Don't want that or that. Um, I'll get rid of that for a minute. If that's not great to start, let's redraw the whole hand. Be a minion? Yeah, it has to be a minion. What does he do? Range three. A copy of self hatred in your opponent's deck. Great. I'll move that. Do that. Right, you go in the corner. Hide you over in there, and then. And that. What the hell? It's got scorpions. Um, right. Jump to there. I need to get this right. Sounds 
sacrifice you. Sacrifice you. Good, that went the way I wanted it to. And then completely box him in. Kill off that scorpion. We have you surrounded. Come out with your weird ghouly face up. He's got three damage, so he could kill anybody, but I want this one to survive. And he possessed something. Is that what that is? You're mine. Summon two minions from the highest power. Oh, okay. He's going to grab my two um, scorpions again, but... It's fine. He dead. For you and summon sacrifice another random minion and raise one. No. Just no. I'll take the spell though. All right, let's quickly upgrade our card. What do we want to upgrade? What's the dragon look up like upgraded? Extra strength, no extra health though. Level 3 Scorpion? Oh, very tasty. 7-4. But Dragon. What does the bomb do at matter 6? Yeah. Um, dragon or Scorpion? Go with the dragon. On the assumption that the level 3 dragon will be even better still. But uh, that is where we're going to leave it for this week. So we'll move on to the next game.